Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the TSN Football Preview Show. Following a dramatic last minute 20 to 13 victory over Williams College this past weekend, the Banners were able to run their record on Jesse Miller Field in the last 12 years to 48 0. This week, they look to go 49 0 against a Hamilton Continentals team that they have dominated in the past. I'm Harry Hawkins alongside Bart Harvey, Henry Lucy, and George Bell, and this is TSN Football coming at you. My player of the week is senior linebacker Mike Weatherby. Last week, Weatherby paced the Bantams with 11 tackles, three of which for a loss, and he forced a fumble. This earned him NESCAC Defensive Player of the Week, and look for Weatherby to play a big role in slowing down a potent Hamilton backfield. My Player of the Week is sophomore quarterback Henry Foy. Foy didn't start week, week one against Bates, but came in midway through the third quarter and helped lead the Bantams to a 28-17 victory. This past weekend against Williams, he, he earned his first career start from head coach Jeff Devaney and impressed, throwing for 225 yards and three scores in the air. Foy still has to work on his decision making a little bit, as the final touchdown pass to A.J. Jones was thrown into double coverage, but he's excelled, distributing the ball to all four of his main receivers and to running back Ben Crick. Look for Foy to take advantage of a shaky Hamilton pass defense this week and have another big game. My player of the week this week is A.J. Jones. The senior wide receiver has become a favorite tar target of, quarter of emerging quarterback Henry Foy. Jones proved to be an incredible weapon in the passing game as he continues to build his chemistry with Foy. The duo connected for five completions going for 92 yards and two touchdowns in this week's victory against Williams. Jones earned, his, earned the trust of his quarterback, making two incredible catches in double coverage. Look for Jones to have an incredible game against Hamilton as Foy will continue to look his way in crucial passing situations. My player of the week this week is junior running back Mike Budnitz. Although normally utilized for his blocking and fullback skills, Budnitz caught a 17-yard touchdown last weekend and is a versatile offensive threat out of the backfield, particularly his pass-catching ability. Look for Budnitz this weekend to be heavily utilized in the Bantams' attack both on the ground and through the air. My focus of the week is simple. Don't take Hamilton lightly. Everyone knows that the undefeated Bantams should have no trouble with the winless Hamilton squad, who has been outscored 58-13 to 13 in its two contests this year. However, in a league as competitive as the NESCAC, where a champion is normally undefeated, one loss can derail a season, and it is important that Coach Devaney and his staff ensure that Trinity takes no one lightly. My focus of the week is discipline. The Bams accumulated eight penalties, costing them 45 yards in last week's victory against Williams. The offense struggled in the first half, committing seven, seven false start penalties in the game overall. Trey has a clear advantage going into this week's matchup against Hamilton, but there could be an upset looming if the offense struggles in the first half as they did last week. Look for head coach Jeff Devaney to sure up any miscommunications or mental errors in his offense as he looks to avoid any possible upset at home against Hamilton on Parents Weekend. My focus of the week is the offensive line. With three new starters after graduation of Mike Valenti, Gino Arnold, and Andrew Weiss, the Bantams are having trouble so far early this season getting their running game going, especially last week, where, su where superstar running back Evan Bunker was limited to 44 yards on 22 carries. In addition to the seven false start penalties that the Bantam offensive line committed, the holes just weren't there as they usually are for Bunker which required head coach Jeff Devaney to get the ball to Ben Crick on the outside to get any sort of gaining on the ground. Hopefully the offensive line can pick it up this week and open some more holes on the inside as the Bantams look to dominate the line of scrimmage. My focus of the week this week is the emergence of the Trinity pass rush. Junior defensive end Nate Sear is coming off a huge game last weekend recording two sacks and junior linebacker Tom Szymanski is a force on the outside. Trinity pass rush will look to disrupt the Hamilton offense as they try and get in the face of the quarterback and force them on the ground. All right, guys, we've looked at the game from an individual and a theme-oriented standpoint. Now it's time to rattle off some predictions. I'll go first. I think Trinity romps this weekend. Honestly, I think the offense, especially the run game, really picks up, and I think the defense gets to the quarterback easily. I like Trinity 35-3. I agree, Harry. I think Trinity will have a big week, and I think they will handle a struggling Hamilton team and win 
35 to 10. I think Trinity will also continue its winning ways at the Coop. I think we're going to see an offensive explosion, 38 to 3 Bantams. I agree, guys. I think uh, Henry Foy really finds his groove in this one, and Bantams continue to dominate at home, 35 to 6. That's all for us this week. Make sure to check out the webcast of the Hamilton game this weekend on the Trinity Athletics website, and check back next week as we preview the Tufts game.